This video is part of the chapter Competition in the course Evolution of Plant Interactions at the Ostrava University. Resource abundance decreases as they are consumed by plants and increases as they are renewed through biotic and abiotic processes. Take space as a resource. The absolute amount of available space obviously does not change. However, two plants cannot grow on exactly the same position or too close nearby. We can thus consider available space as discrete patches, each of which supports the growth of exactly one individual. If a patch is occupied by a plant, then the resource is used up. So in a sparse population, there is a lot of space available for growth. As the patches become occupied, the resource availability decreases. However, plants are not growing indefinitely on a patch. At some point, they are bound to go locally extinct, either because of old age, an accident or predation. When this happens, the patch is available again, so the resource is renewed. Another example of resource consumption and renewal is the organic nitrogen cycle. This is a complex representation of the cycle of nitrate in an agroecosystem. The atmosphere has huge amounts of nitrogen, but most plants use nitrogen in form of nitrates or nitrates from the soil, which are difficult to obtain. Organic nitrate used from the soil is renewed either by organic matter decomposition, by nitrate-fixing bacteria, and in the case of agroecosystems, by adding fertilizers to the soil. When the resources are consumed faster than they can be replenished, they are eventually depleted. Here is an example about how overfishing has increased over the past 70 years and affected biodiversity in the seas. In the 1950s, about 1% of high sea surfaces were fished per year, and there were no recorded observations of exploited, overexploited, or collapsed fish species. The high sea exploitation has increased to 33% in the 1960s, which subsequently led to a dramatic increase of exploited, overexploited, or collapsed species, up to 40%. By 2006, two-thirds of the high sea levels were fished every year, which led to almost 90% of known species to be either overexploited or collapsed. This happens because the intensity of overfishing is much too high for the fish populations to naturally regenerate via their usual reproductive rates. A general relationship can be established between population size and resource that is naturally consumed and replenished. As the population size increases, the resource level will decrease over time. Eventually, both the population and the resource reach an equilibrium level, where the production of new individuals and their loss are balanced out, and the consumption rate of the resource is perfectly balanced with the rate of supply in its habitat. A population would be at stable equilibrium if both of these conditions are fulfilled. At equilibrium, the population will be at its maximal sustainable size, and the resource will be at its minimal sustainable value, denoted as R star. If for whatever reason the population increases its growth rate, the resource will be consumed faster than it is replenished, which will eventually lead to the resource depletion, followed by a population decline or even an extinction. Using the knowledge about population regulation by resources has been taken advantage of in controlling plant pests by using their natural predators. Here is an example. 